cool. So today I'm going to be doing a video on my five favorite bands. So my first band is Blink-182. Um, I've loved Blink-182 for a long time. I remember seeing them Madison Square Garden and Fall Out Boy opening up for them. Uh, and seeing Travis Barker's drum solo and I remember being in awe because uh, his drum set was suspended. It was in Madison Square Garden. Uh, his drum set was suspended. It was flying around the whole arena. It was really cool. Um, and every album from them, uh, even though they have lost probably one of my favorite members from them, Tom DeLonge, uh, every album from them is just amazing. Uh, I heard that they're going to be recording this year, and I can't wait to hear. Um, and I heard that they might be going on tour. And I think it was two years ago, yeah, two years ago, I remember seeing them in a much smaller venue, uh, Starland Ballroom. And going from seeing them in Madison Square Garden to Starland Ballroom is just crazy, because you go from being in the nosebleeds of a giant arena to being in... Uh, maybe like 300 person crowd and that's awesome being close to your heroes uh, yeah I think that was actually the last tour they did with Tom DeLonge like in the East Coast my fourth band is Real Friends I have every one of their works um, I've seen them four times they are I, I just love everything about them I emulate their musicality and their vocals uh, when I do my music, it's just beautiful, some of the lyrics that they write. I can put them on at any time, and it just like fits the mood. Uh, whenever I listen to Real Friends, I either think of autumn or like toward the end of summer, like that euphoric feeling at the end of summer, and I just love that. My third band is Neck Deep. Neck Deep is amazing. I've seen them twice. Yeah. I've seen Neck Deep twice, and they're just amazing. Uh, when I saw Neck Deep for the first time, they were opening up for Real Friends, and it was amazing. Uh, their crowds are just insane. Uh, I have every one of their like works. Um, my favorite album from them is probably their latest one, Life's Not Out To Get You. Um, the reason why I'm looking over here is because I have a poster of the Life's Not Out To Get You cover right here. It's not really in frame and I don't feel like moving the camera. So, yeah. Um, you can see on my earlier video, the Five Facts About Me video. Wow, I did this wrong. Five, four, three, two. Yeah, this is my second band. Um, just, you know, this went from like, number, like top to bottom. And I love all these bands so much, but Blink-182 is going to be my all-time favorite all the time. The story so far. The story so far, I just finished collecting all their albums. I have, I'm looking at them right now, uh, they're self-titled, What You Can't See, The Acoustic, and uh, Under the Soil. I just recently saw them and I recently got into them. Amazing. Uh, when I left that venue, I was in awe. I went to see it in the no not in the summer uh i think in october actually and they were amazing they were on tour with basement and turnover and wow um turnover is amazing basement is awesome I just bought a turnover's album uh two days ago peripheral vision uh, just something i keep on listening to if you have the chance go and get it it's amazing take a listen and my last band is the front bottoms now the front bottoms come from jersey Bring some home pride, and <laughs> I love their lyrics, I love how sarcastic they can be. Um, the vocals aren't amazing, but <laughs> I just, something about it makes me love them so much. I remember being 7th grade, and my art teacher, every four times a year, throws a uh, like, poetry slam reading, and this guy uh, named Doug, he sang more than it hurts you and he played acoustic and the, the lyrics to that just make me smile and make me happy I don't know why because it's not really the brightest song but it just makes me smile and happy I love that band I have every one of their albums 
My favorite album from them is probably self-titled because it just, I can jam along and scream every word of that album. It's just beautiful. And uh, if you have the chance, take a listen to Back on Top. It's their new record. It is amazing. It, it's beautiful. Yeah, that's it. So uh, remember to like and subscribe and uh, love yourself. Bye.